Welcome back to SnowRunner, y'all, and this recovery is going to be a little more of a personal mission than a mission for a recovery client. Now, what I mean by that is the truck that we are going to be making our way out to recover today is actually a truck that we're going to bring back into the garage. We're going to, like, literally tear it down, swap out the front end. We're going to extend the cab. We're going to put a pickup truck bed on the back. We're going to completely rebuild the thing, and it's going to be a blast. And I'm sure that uh, I haven't seen the truck yet, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to be a pretty good candidate for a custom rebuild project. Now, normally, we would take this 3500 mega cab right here, but today we're going to take something a little bit larger, but still in the same family. Let me go ahead and uh, show you guys exactly what I mean. Now, if we just drive a little bit further around the corner, momentarily, y'all should be able to see what I'm talking about. Now, let me hang a little bit over to the side here. And, uh, y'all may have been able to catch a glimpse of the tires, and, uh, yes, here we are. This is the, air quotes, 3500 that we're taking today. As you can see, it's a tad larger, so let me hop out of this one and hop into this one. Again, as you can see, the axles are a lot larger. The tires are massive military tires. We've got six doors. We've got recovery supplies. We've got everything that we might need to get that vehicle back to the garage and get the rebuild project started. So let's go ahead and make our way on out. Now, as usual, all of the information about every single mod that I am using in this video will be linked in the description box down below. Or, if the mod that I am using is not available, there will be an explanation as to why, uh, again, listed in the mod section in the description. So if you're looking for any mod-related information whatsoever, please do check out the description of the video. Now let's make our way on out to where this vehicle is stranded. So let's see. If we- oh, dude, I love the interior on this truck. I really do. Like, I know that this is a little bit older than the 3500 Mega Cab that we drove out of the garage in, but even then, like, even though it's an older mod, I still love getting this thing out from time to time. Let's see if we can rip through this mud. Come on! Oh, it shreds through it in high. Let's go! Dude, it actually has some really good, like, suspension behavior for, like, going through here at decently high speed, too. I mean, that's not something you usually associate with a truck this big or this tall, is having good suspension dynamics at speed, but this one definitely has them, for sure. Oh, easy. I haven't actually been up to this swamp in a really long time, considering the fact that this is way back in Michigan where a lot of people start off in the game. Oh, I think I'm about to miss my turn. Let's see. All right, so we're gonna make... Yeah, we're gonna head down to the left here. And then if we head over to the right out into that swampy lake, it's like a swampy lake bed, we should find the truck that we're looking for. Let's go ahead and give our radar a quick run. I love that. Just wait for it to wrap up. Drown heavy truck discovered. Let's go. All right, so now we should have access to it on the GPS. Indeed, we do. All right, let's make our way on out into the lake. We should... Oh, I see it out in the distance. All right, let's creep on over to it. We'll just run over there in low plus. Low plus is usually fast enough that it'll give you a decent amount of wheel speed, but it's not so fast that you'll be, you know, spinning yourself out and digging in and sinking everywhere. I'm so glad we brought this truck. The tires are... Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad that we came out here with the suspension height and the tire size that we did, because otherwise, we'd be, uh, we'd be in for some trouble, for sure. Alright, so here's our Chevy Kodiak C70 project truck. This is gonna be a really interesting recovery. So, let's see. Where do we... Let's see. Oh, they want us to return it to the farm? I mean, I guess we could do that, but, like, you know, once we get it back to the farm... Once we get it back to the farm, we'll, uh, you know, we'll see if they'll let us buy it from them. All right, let's go ahead and accept, start tracking, and then now, let's go ahead and reverse, just get everything into position. I'm sure it will not take us a long time to get this down to the garage, at least not with this beast. All right, let's get you hooked up. Ah, uh, dude, I don't like how this thing only has, t like, tow points on the left or right sides. It should have a tow point in the middle. Everything should have a tow point in the middle, in my opinion. 
Yeah, I'm gonna lock it in low plus because if I don't, I feel like the automatic mode is just gonna ruin the, uh, it's gonna ruin the momentum. It's really good at doing that, by the way. The automatic mode is really good at ruining your momentum sometimes. And that's not, you know, solely dedicated to this truck. That's just a snow runner in general kind of thing. I do want a little bit of distance from that truck. Like, it doesn't have to be a ton of distance, but a little bit of distance. So I'm gonna extend my winch cable out a little bit, extend my tow strap, and let me turn real wide here so we don't flip it over on that little uh, rise in the terrain. So as long as we don't hit any trees, we'll be a-okay. All right, cool. I'm so glad we had enough space to make a turn that wide, because if we didn't, A, we would have gotten caught in a tree, and B, we would have probably flipped over the C70, which that's another thing that we really do not want to be messing with is flipping the C70 over. All right, let's go and check to make sure nobody's barreling through here. No diesel addict 66 coming the other way in Punisher. About to smash into us. <laughs> now we just got to make our way down the canyon. And then once we get through the canyon, we got to make our way through that little mud hole and then past the garage and then down to the farm where we can return this truck to its owner. And then we're going to see if we can uh, do some shrewd negotiating with the owner of this truck uh, or with the owner of the C70 that left it up there. And I'll be like, yo, look. I just rescued your truck out of a swamp. You think you can cut me a deal on it? I'm sure it needs a bunch of things replaced. You know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Uh, and, and it's one of those things where they're like, so uh, so the original owner wanted uh, $30,000, and so and I only wanted to offer $3,000. So we met right in the middle at $3,000. <laughs> It's not bad, even with weight behind it. It still keeps up the momentum really well, even, especially for low plus. Most rigs with weight behind them in, in mud like this in low plus will start to spin and sink. It's kind of just inevitable once you get to the point that you, you know, once you get, once you get to the point that you're at with stuff like this, it, it's kind of inevitable unless you have like genuinely insane tires, which this thing does have, but they're not the cheater spec. They're just the mid-range spec, which is super respectable. All right, blasting by the garage. Don't you worry, we'll be back here. We, I, I have my eyes on this truck. I really want to build it, so I'm really hoping the original owner will cut me a deal. Oh, God. Oh, is it going to go over? Wow, it didn't go over. Holy smokes. I am actually mind blown that it didn't go over. Come on, easy. Almost there. All right, farm coming up on the right. I love how this truck can just cruise like this. It can just barrel through whatever in freaking high range. All right, let's ease it on around to the right. Not bad. And there's my drop-off. All right. So let's see. Boom. All right. Now that's the kind of muscle we need around here. It, is it? Is it? Well, can I buy it, though? Oh, I can. I mean, you do realize it's got a lot of damage on it, right? You don't care? Oh, okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll take it off your hands. Thank you for that. Done deal. And I'm going to head back to the garage. We'll get some things sorted out, and then we'll start the build process. All right, we got it into the garage. We tore it down, and now we're going to tear it down even further. We're going to swap out the front end. We're going to swap out the axles. We're going to swap out the wheels and tires, and then we're going to rebuild it from the ground up, and we even found a bed to put on it. And after a lot of work behind the scenes, this is what we ended up with. Now, as you can see, we've got completely different axles, different wheel and tire setup. We got axle brakes. We got a totally different front end. We're a, like four door full size cab now. We've got a long bed with dually fenders. This thing, I mean, it's on 44s. It is absolutely ready to rip but it is not done yet so now what we got to do is we got to sort out the engine situation so we're gonna go for a full built like big turbo performance tune setup it's gonna have a full fuel system it's gonna have basically everything done now gearbox wise we're gonna give it an off-road gearbox because that's pretty much where this thing is going to be primarily used. And then as far as the suspension goes, the cool thing about a suspension like this is you can kind of set it to whatever level you want. 
I'm pretty confident in setting it to kind of like an in-between spec on the off-road setup. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to leave the tires as they are for now. The wheel and tire setup because I really like it. I like the wheels. I like the spiked lug package. I like the 44-inch uh, the BFGs. I think all of that looks really, really good. But we'll come back and kind of sort everything else out about that later. Now, exhaust-wise, we got options. We could do a, uh, let's see, we could do like a dump pipe style, we could do a hood stack style. I really do like the hood stack style on this thing, but we've also got some other options that I think would look really, really cool. Now, we could do a dual exhaust setup like this, where we've got um, an exit on both the right and left sides, but we also have the option of doing kind of semi-style stacks in the bed, which I'm actually pretty keen on. I might do that. I, oh, that looks pretty wild. Okay, I, I might do that. I, yeah, I might do that. Now, we do have some other flatbed options, but I think for what we're going to do with this truck, we're probably going to leave it as a dually bed. Side steps, I'm back and forth on because they will reduce our side-to-side -side clearance, but they do look really cool. And then we could do, like, an off-road style bumper, which I probably will do, or we could stick with, like, the old-school stock style. I think we're going to go with the off-road style. Now, we have one wheel option on these tires, which there's nothing wrong with that. And then as far as, like, our paint job goes... We could stick with that weathered style, or we could go for something like, you know, properly polished out and, you know, make it look brand new. And I'm so, I'm so back and forth on what I want to do. Um, I almost want to go with this dark red. I think that the dark red looks amazing. Although, again, I'm not sure if I want to go with something really polished or if I want to keep that kind of like, you know, weathered, uh, like used out in the middle of nowhere kind of look. I, I don't know. I don't know. I think for now, we're going to go with this really clean, polished look, and we'll definitely throw beans on the dash. And then now, it's time to see the newest addition to our fleet, a fully rebuilt C70 Kodiak as a dually pickup with four doors. This thing, this thing will go anywhere. Not only will it go anywhere, but it will pull anything we need it to. Let's start it up. That sounds incredible, dude. This thing is this thing is so next level, and I cannot wait to actually put it to work as part of our fleet. And actually, you know what's crazy is if we pull it up next to that 3500, like, it's not a, a lot bigger, but it is just enough. You know what I mean? It, it's just a little bit bigger than the 3500, which is what you would expect from for the difference between a truck like this and a truck like that. But if y'all enjoyed this video and this recovery and rebuild, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. And if you have any ideas for anything that you would like to see on the channel, once again, leave any and all of your thoughts and opinions in that comment section down below. And I will see y'all next time. Talk to y'all later.